Hello friends, I'm Parker Parkour, and welcome to a new Let's Play, Pikmin 3. And no, I will not touch the screen or press A because I'm using a Wii Remote Ninja. Um, so yeah, uh, Pikmin 3, not Pikmin 1 or 2. I don't own 1 or 2, um, but I own 3, and I really like it. So we're gonna, we're gonna play it and see what happens. And if you want to check out 1 or 2, there are some, there are some great... Let's plays of it from other people, and I would encourage you to check out, but you by no means need to watch them to understand this this game. So let's just go right into it. Galactic Date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. What happened? Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course! This must be PNF 404. Charlie to ship. Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I hope, I only hope they survived. Hey, look at me, I'm Charlie. Huh? What in the... <laughs> there are more of them! So strange. Look at them. Look at the little yellow boys. <laughs> I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle <laughs> will scare them off. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Get away from me. I want these guys stop hovering over me. Oof. Hmm. 
they don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by going through the controls again. I don't need to read this. Maybe these fellas could be of some use. Okay, so now that we have our little yellow guys, um, well, let's actually go back and get these ones because we don't want to leave anyone out of the party. Pikmin party. New spinoff. Pikmin party. Where you fight over giant strawberries with your Pikmin on a board game. And you play mini games where you avoid death. That sounds like fun. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I should look around for my crew. By pressing Z, I can see what's in front of me. Oh, oh, hey, bud. <laughs> oh, that's where I came from. Oh, I can't get through there because they don't they don't want to. Um So let's just chuck them on the giant mushrooms. This totally does not remind me of Mario by any means. No, they couldn't possibly be a reference to that. Okay, you know what? Just Wait a minute, can I? No, I can't. <laughs> These guys are sure dedicated. Ooh, it's dark. It's a dank cave. What are those things? They look dangerous! Let's jump right on top of them. They hate the light. Crash site, more like splash site. Ah. Oh, it's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Elf. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find the SS Drake and my crew members. Can we in water now, boys? Oh, it's a little red sucker. What was that? That, my friend, was Steve. No. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna make that reference throughout this whole thing. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in the branch? Is there anything I can do? How about I whistle at it? <laughs> they responded to the whistle! What friendly little guys? Yeah, let's just chuck them on. Oh, gosh, get back here. Nice! <laughs> Oh, it has spaghetti legs. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellas seem quite pleased now that it's freed. And they're following me. Hey, come here, bud. No, bud, bud, go over there. 
Actually, no, you. Oh wait, is this all we can do? Oh. <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to the um the heavy multitasking that this game has already because I played it before. But um nope, looks like we just have to take it slow for now. Oh, what's that over there? It's my cop pad, not my Wii U gamepad at all. No, that couldn't possibly be that. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Because, because when we on the SS Drake, we know, we we know when that hotline bling. I apologize. Oh, look at them! There, you see, they already are going back. Wait. Oh, okay. I'm like, wait. I only saw three. I could use some more helpers. Okay, yeah, but there aren't any around here. Clam down, Alf. You need to clam down. Okay, that's the last of them. Don't you dare go back. No! No, you two, come back! Come back! Wonderful, the bridge is complete. Let's go get our... Cop pad. Yahoo! Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Copiat Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by tapping and sliding the cop pad screen. So yeah, um, I have no way to just record the gamepad, but thankfully they just show a tiny version of it. Um, on the TV, on the important parts. So that's cool. So you can see what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Let's find. Oh, that's where that hotline bling. <laughs> I need to stop. Aha! The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Well, let's go. Oh, but we got a twenty box. Is that red thing food? Heck no. What it is, is... Oh. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Okay, grab the, the carcass. <laughs> what it is, is that there are pellets. And I think it's gonna explain it, even though I was just about to. That thing probably has some sort of sprouts. Yeah, if you bring, um, defeated enemies and... Oh. Oh, red Pikmin. Okay, now we know what it is, apparently. Because apparently having four of them wasn't enough. Now we needed five. I see, so this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating! Wow! Okay. Um, but yeah, if you take a pellet... One of those pellets, or... Um, a defeated enemy to this thingy called the onion, um, you can get more Pikmin. See, now I have 11. Um, <laughs> when the squad gets together. Um, okay. <laughs> so, and as you saw, that pellet was red, and it actually gave me more than the number on it, because... Um, I'm focusing on this. Um, <laughs> it actually gave me more than... Wow, well, that's a big one. Sorry. It gave me more than the number on it because it was the same color as the pick as the um, onion it went to. So, it gives... <laughs> it helps to... to... It, there's strategy because it's Pikmin. And it's a real-time strategy game. Okay, um... Boys. Let's pluck it up. No. <laughs> oh gosh, that didn't sound it. <laughs> that didn't sound quite like I wanted it to. Um Come on, hurry. Go faster. And the, 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 you, the more the more Pikmin you have on a thing, the faster it'll go. Um, the, the bottom number when they're holding something is how many it needs, and then the top number is how many are actually currently carrying it. So, <laughs> 21. 
Um, that's an old trend. I am just full of dead memes. That is that is my brain space. Dead memes and video games. <laughs> what is this enormous thing? The Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. If you if you put your cursor on something and then you press Z, well you hold Z, you can lock onto it. It's always great. And then if you shake the nunchuck, that you can have your Pikmin charge against it, and that's really helpful against um certain enemies and other things that you need to like carry um it looked like someone's left the data file here Pre oh hi guys <laughs> i didn't expect that uh it looks like someone left the data file here perhaps the cop head will be able to read it <laughs> Woo! the onion is like a nest for the pikmin it both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter Yes, because nests give birth to birds. Whatever. Excellent. The cop head can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin? Yes, we went through this already. The, the name of the game is Pikmin. Um, you literally, it literally said Red Pikmin when you picked one up. You're a little slow, Alf. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the exploration notes. It's a good thing we still have Signal to download apps. On a foreign planet. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. Oh, hey, bud. <laughs> so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Question mark? Okay, well, now we got all 21. So we can go move on and look for the Drake. Putting the radar, the Drake should be through here. Drum and drum and drum and drum. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. What about this wall? You see, there's another thing that Trek is good for. It's for getting people, get, getting people, getting your Pikmin to all go break down a wall or something. It's me. And they're done. My crew can learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. <laughs> I hope the Drake is okay. Not Brittany or Charlie. No, just this, just the ship. There it is. That's a Drake. The coat pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission? Who could it be? Find out next time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Elf! It's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness you're with the SS Drake, right? Oh, I combined that into one sentence. Thank goodness you're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm start- Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Got a blast! Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. So I'm just gonna drink a whole one thing for the whole crew by myself. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Day one! 
complete. Wow! We got more Pikmin. And none of them died. That's great. I mean, that's not really anything special. None, none of the Pikmin could have died. I mean, maybe just Sunset? Could you... Is that possible? Could you just leave them and then kill them all off? <laughs> We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alf. So yeah, that's day one. Yeah, whatever. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like and share it with a friend. And I will see you in the next one. I'm going to leave now. Thank you.